post-apocalyptic world. Sounds like a fun time, right? I mean, it could only mean a few different scenarios, really. Nuclear fallout, or a zombie outbreak, or maybe both, one and the same. It really depends on your stance on ghouls, really. But this is besides the point. Today I visited a different post-apocalyptic world. The one that was inside Pandemic Express. It was filled with beautiful, bodacious bays. Or at least that's what I thought when I was gonna go into it. Unfortunately, there are no females. So that that, that hope was completely dashed upon entering the game. Instead, you're left with the saddest mime you could have ever found. And they have a bad case of the Pinocchio disease. And by the looks of it, they haven't been the most honest of people. Could it be because it's a mime eat mime world out there? Where your survival depends upon the slowest member of your mime team? Maybe. Either way, Pandemic Express is a new Steam game that's currently in alpha tests. And through sheer luck, I was able to test out this game with my trusty and fellow Pinocchio disease compadre and boyfriend Eve. So in Pandemic Express you must survive against the zombies in this battle royale-esque playground that you spawn into. You start off locked inside a train station until someone at random is chosen to be the beast of the group. Or at least, in this case, a black gooey cyclops zombie with glowing eyes. Ah, uh, I mean, glowy eye. Sorry, we, we have to be politically correct here. For all of the cyclopses out there... Wait, is it cyclopses or cyclops? Is it plural? Hmm... Anyway, once the match actually starts, it's every Menos Grande for themselves. Be it jumping on randomly placed and extremely powerful beds, or gravity-defying cars that are absolutely impossible to drive. I swear guys, I am not this bad at driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, I, I'm, I'm not that bad. I mean, you know, I don't have a driver's license or anything, but, you know, th that's my choice. I, I swear. I, I'm not a danger to society. Oh, 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 oh no. Um, okay, my, my team's dead. Okay, maybe, maybe I am. L let, let's just pretend that didn't happen and move on, shall we? I'm, I'm sure they didn't know it was me. Besides trying to survive the zombies, you will have to arm yourself and fend off the hordes that will eventually amass as your compadres slowly die off and become part of the enemy. Your goal within the game is to make it to the train and escape this nightmarish place. I'm not entirely sure why escaping on the train stops the zombies from chasing you, but hey, that's how the game works. Although, making it to the train isn't enough, as you've got to escort it to the end, whilst the map shrinks and you have less space to roam. And as I mentioned before, if you die, you do become one of the gooey zombies you've been fighting against. This is when friends then become foes, and your mission is to eat everyone and turn them to your side. With your newly found superpowers, your superpowers being of course, really big jumps and broken hands, because nobody holds their hands like that. Oh, and the ability to self-destruct yourself. Oh, and the most important ability I forgot to mention is the ability to respawn, because, you know, you don't want to be a dead zombie. That's just ludicrous at this point. But if you guys are wondering how do we stop these zombies, the kryptonite to these zombies is pretty much anything that can be projected at them. Getting hit in this game is really punishing and you get pushed back miles, so it can be a little challenging to get your next meal. Especially when they're shooting you with machine guns. There's a lot of people shooting you with machine guns. For a moment, you get to feel like you're flying a dream come true until you crash down into Earth which is reality setting in. But in all fairness, it is really hard to win this game as a human, especially when there's like 20 zombies all stopping you from escorting the train. Or when some random person tries to ride a car onto the train and an exploding zombie murders everyone that was next to the car trying to enter in one fell swoop. You, you just... You just gotta hate it when that happens, right guys? <laughs> it wasn't me though, no. So guys, if you are itching for a zombie vs human-esque battle royale game, then first you should go to a doctor and fix that itching problem because this game is an outget. After that is done, you should probably keep a watchful eye on the progress of Pandemic Express because you never know when it will be released. My personal hope for the game is that they fix some of the bugs and they'll add a female character. Maybe something like this. 
But, you know, I, I doubt it. Really unlikely, but, you know, I would like that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed watching Eve and I drip around in this alpha test for Pandemic Express. That being said, good day, night, or afternoon, wherever it is where you are. And don't forget to check back every now and again and see what new videos I have posted. It is much appreciated. Either way, I'll see you guys next time.